<laughs> okay, short video, one page. We're just going to talk about similar triangles. Two definitions, two examples, and we're good to go. So two triangles are congruent if they're basically the same. That's the definition. Do they have the same angles? Do they have the same sides? If the angles are the same, then the and the sides are the same, congruent triangles. These triangles down here are not congruent, right? This is a much smaller triangle, so not congruent. However, if we have the same angles between the two triangles, and only the side lengths are different, that's called similar triangles. So these are a example, an example of similar triangles, because look at this angle right here. This angle right here is the same size as this angle. This right angle is the same size as this right angle. And this angle over here is the same size as this angle. So these are similar, even though they're not congruent. Okay. Um, so here we go. Example, 6.8. We'll see how much Spanish I bring out in these videos over the length of the quarter. So we got big triangle, which is 66 feet, 42 feet. Oh, we got units coming back again. And we got a smaller, similar triangle where this is X feet and 35 feet. So to solve this, these triangles are proportionate to each other. And the proportions of the side lengths are also the same. Okay. So the bottom side, this proportion of the bottom side of the big triangle to bottom side of the small triangle is the same as the hypotenuse of the big triangle and the hypotenuse of the little triangle. There's a bunch of different proportions that you can set up to solve this problem. So I did bottom to bottom, hypotenuse to hypotenuse, bottom to bottom, hypotenuse to hypotenuse. You could have also have done hypotenuse to bottom, hypotenuse to bottom. There's a bunch of different ways. I'm just going to try to be a little consistent. Let's get consider bottom big, bottom small. Match them together. Hypotenuse big, hypotenuse small. Match them together. Okay? So, here we go. All we need to do is solve for x. So what we're going to do is something called cross multiplying. 42 times x is 42x, all right? And 35 times 66, I don't know, I, don't, I can't do that in my head, hold on. 35 times 66, what is that? It's 2,310. I'm sorry, I'm a failure. Failure of a math teacher, not doing that in my head. Okay. Um, wait, what the heck did 36 come from? <laughs> 66. This is a six the whole time. Uh, this is why your math teachers say not to do it in pen, but your math professor is too stubborn and he does it anyway. 35 times 66. Wait. It is, it is 2,310. I did this part right. Whew. All right. Uh, anyway, shall we move on and continue solving? We need to get the x by itself, but x is getting multiplied by 42. How do we undo the multiplication? By divisification, otherwise known as division. Divide by 42. They cancel. The only thing left on the left-hand side is an x. On the right-hand side, we have 2310 divided by 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Now we have 50 feet. 55 is our final answer. Oh, but wait. We should include our answer with units. Okay. 55 feet. Right there. And now we get the smiley face because we included our units and we did a good job. Okay. And maybe kind of maybe go back over here and, and ask yourself, does this make sense? These triangles 
should have the same relative sizes. So right, this, this big side is about one and a half, not quite, but it's about one and a half times as big as the smaller side. So this should also be about one and a half times the size, and it is about, okay? So kind of do a ballpark. If we got that this thing over here was 100 feet, that would be crazy. That would be insane, all right? So a good thing to check. One more problem, and then we'll move on. Example 6.9. We got two triangles right here. Let's look at the triangles. Let's look at the nice versions of the triangles. Reminder, these are right triangles up here because there's a right angle. Are these acute or obtuse triangles? What do you think? Take a moment. They are obtuse triangles because there's an obtuse angle right up here. If it would be an acute triangle, if all the angles were smaller than 90 degrees, but this angle up here is like a 130 or something. I don't know. Notice here, the sides are now in meters. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar. This side divided by this side is equal to this side divided by this side. Okay. Set up those proportions. We're going to get that Y divided by 15 is equal to 42 divided by 63. Cross multiply again. Y times 63 is 63 Y. It doesn't matter which order you write it in. I like my variable on the left, but it doesn't matter which order you do these multiplications in. 15 times 42, I don't know what that is, but hopefully I can type it in correctly. 15 times 42 is 630. Ooh. I got a little excited seeing 630. You know why? Because now to undo this multiplication, we have to divide both sides by 63. And this is something I can do in my head. To cancel on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, 630 divided by 63 is just 10. What are our units here? Meters. Or 100 centimeters. No, that's not true. A thousand centimeters, a hundred decimeters, 10,000 millimeters, uh, one decameter. The answers are endless. Okay. Um, so we have similar triangles. Let's look at the triangles. Does, does 10 make sense? 10, that's a lot shorter than, that's a lot shorter than 40. This side is like one fourth the size. Well, this side is also a lot smaller, right? This is also like about one fourth of size. So it kind of makes sense. They're similar. They should have the same proportions. And it, sure, it passes my little gut check. And there we go. That is section 614.